Hello and welcome to a very passionate rant about the Bobon on Mario 64. This is the original Bobon, and this is my custom version. Now, hopefully, you agree that mine is a lot prettier. The animations too are all new. If you look at the original, this is how he walks. He looks like a fucking dog. Now look at mine. What a chat stride. It's a bit slow, but we speed this up in-game with his walk speed, so it actually looks fine when he runs. Next, you should notice that mine has a lot more details. The textures are rounder. There is uh, this whole thing on top. Now you might think, but case, you know, surely, like, yeah, you added detail. I mean, of course it's gonna look better. Fucking wrong. Look at this. The original bob -omb? 80 triangles. Mine, 56. Technically, we remove detail. But now you might think, by case, like, clearly, you just used HD textures. You're just cheating. Of, of course it would look better if you used HD textures. Fucking wrong. Look at this. Original bob -omb? Let's look at this eye. 32 by 32. 2 kilobytes of texture data. Mine, 16 by 32. 512 bytes of texture data. Hmm. This run takes around 15 microseconds to load. Mine takes around 3.75 microseconds to load. That's around 11.25 microseconds faster. That's a significant time save for the N64. And this one here, you might think, okay, case, clearly that one's way rounder. Of course, it's gonna be higher resolution, right? Fucking wrong. Four kilobytes, and this four kilobytes plus another 4 kilobytes. That is a whole 30 microseconds faster. And you know what, I thought, you know, we saved so much time, might as well add a texture for this, 16 by 16, 128 bytes. It's like barely even a microsecond. You know, so the textures are like 40 microseconds faster to load, a few kilobytes smaller in size, and it is way rounder. Isn't that beautiful? There's more to optimization than just textures. I mean, try count you already saw, we have 24 triangles less, so that's clearly better too. But way more important is the bone count, because calculating animations is really expensive on the N64. So let's look at the original model. Every bone that really matters is the geo-animated part here. And if you count this, this is two bob -ombs, which is the pink one and the black one. 28 geo-animated parts, so 14 bones in total. How much does mine have? Fucking three. <laughs> Each one of them takes around, I'd say like 10 to 20 microseconds, somewhere in between that. So that's another like 150 microseconds down. My bob is like 200 microseconds faster, and I hope you agree it looks much better. Plus, I added a few cool special features. So first of all, my bob -omb. He has the special thing here, where if you want, you can make him blink. Isn't that cool? You can animate this in-game. But you know what, it was 96, they didn't know the N64 well back then, so we can we can excuse all that. This would have been like a cool thing to see in Super Mario 64 too. Uh, let's see it in-game, and I will show you a few more other things I added to this. So this is for my level, the bomb factory. You get the bomb cap here. It's cool lighting, by the way. I oh, really like these light effects. Yeah, they also have like world lighting now, so they look like they're properly in the world. So first, they have a little hop animation when they see you. They get all excited, and then they blink, and boom, dead. The explosion still needs to be remade, because I'm not entirely happy with that. And when you grab him, he struggles to get free. So yeah, let me know what you think of this rework. I am very excited about this. People were commenting in my videos like, oh, Case, you have so many bob in your level. There's no way the level runs at full FPS. But no, I just optimized that a lot and now it runs at proper FPS, I hope. Um, yeah, that's about it for this level. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.